Today, we will be looking at the sounds of Klingon. The material that we will be covering in this lecture is taken from Chapter 1 of the book The Klingon Dictionary by Mark Okrand, published in 1992. The Klingon alphabet consists of 26 letters. Of these 26 letters, 5 are vowels, and the remaining 21 are consonants. There are two orthographies commonly used to write Klingon. In the example shown here, we have the upper row, which is the more common Latin orthography, and on the lower row, the less common Fiqad orthography. Throughout these slides, we will be showing both. Here we see the five vowels of Klingon. In this chart, the vowels are organized. We have closed vowels, closed mid vowels, open mid vowels, and open vowels. For each vowel, we have the Latin orthography, the Picard orthography, as well as the representation in IPA, or the International Phonetic Alphabet. We'll begin with the first vowel, I. I. This vowel is represented by the Latin letter capital I and is pronounced I. The next vowel is the closed back vowel, represented by the Latin letter U. This is pronounced U. U. There is one closed mid vowel that is a back vowel, represented by the Latin letter O, pronounced O. The open mid vowel is represented by the Latin letter E and is pronounced E. E. There is one open back vowel, represented by the Latin letter A, pronounced A, A. These are the five vowels of Klingon. Here we see the 21 consonants of the Klingon alphabet, organized by place and manner of articulation. Let's begin with the stops. Klingon has an unvoiced labial aspirated stop, represented by the Latin letter P, pronounced P. P. If you hold your hand in front of your mouth when you pronounce this letter, you should feel a distinct puff of air. Similarly, the unvoiced alveolar stop is also aspirated. T, t. Like with P, when T is pronounced, you should feel a notable puff of air in front of your face if you hold up your hand. T, t. The letter Q in Klingon represents an unvoiced aspirated uvular stop. Ka, ka, ka. And finally, the Latin letter apostrophe represents a glottal stop in Klingon. This is the sound in the middle of the word uh oh. In addition to P, there is also a voiced labial stop represented by the Latin letter B, pronounced B, B.
The Latin letter capital D in Klingon represents a retroflex voiced stop. Duh. 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 Next, we have the affricates and fricatives. We begin with the Klingon letter TLH. This sound is pronounced and is an unvoiced alveolar affricate. This sound, incidentally, is the sound at the beginning of the word Klingon, pronounced Klingon. The letter CH represents an unvoiced palatal affricate. Ch Ch In addition, we have the letter capital Q representing an unvoiced uvular affricate. The letter J represents the voiced counterpart to CH. J is pronounced J, J. The letter capital S represents an unvoiced retroflex fricative, pronounced SH. The letter capital H represents an unvoiced velar fricative, pronounced <laughs> The letter V is a voiced labial fricative, pronounced v, v. The Klingon letter GH represents a voiced velar fricative, v, v. Finally, we have trills, approximates, and nasals, all of which are voiced. The letter R represents a voiced alveolar trill, pronounced The letter W is a voiced labial approximate, w, w. L is a voiced alveolar approximate, l, l. And w the letter Y represents a voiced palatal approximate, pronounced y, y. Finally, the three voiced nasals. M, pronounced m, m, N, pronounced n, n, and finally NG, pronounced ng, ng. This concludes the sounds of Klingon. We have five vowels and 21 consonants. This presentation was created and narrated by Lane Schwartz. You are free to reproduce and adapt this work under the terms of the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License.